The entire $15,000. May the curse of Sheba destroy him. Oh, come, 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 Chandadas. This is no time for hysterics. Have you any idea who stole it? Niran Khan. Your clerk? The same, Saab. May the god of fire push a party, roast him. I insist you take steps to apprehend him at once. Are you presuming to tell me my duties? Oh, a thousand pardons, Saab. I meant no offense. What makes you so certain it was Khan? He has disappeared from Nadenga. Flown, vanished. The money was last in his custody. Um, what about his friends? Close friends, I mean. Do you have any? Well, let me think. Yes, sir. A man named Kasim. Kasim? Jungle Jim's friend? Yes, sir. They were both born in the same village in India, I believe. <laughs> Calling BBQ six two. BBQ nine one calling BBQ six two. This is BBQ nine one calling BBQ six two. Come in, BBQ six two. This is BBQ six two. We are receiving you. Over. Oh, hello, Kasim. This is Commissioner Morrison speaking. Uh, I understand you're acquainted with a man by the name of Niran Khan. Is that right? Over. Yes, sir. Over. Have you any idea where he is? Over. He's employed by a man named Chandra Das in the Denga. Over. Yes, I'm aware of that. But have you seen him lately? Over. We see one another occasionally, yes. Over. That is what I asked, Kasim. Have you seen him in the last 24 hours? Over. Hello, are you there, Kasim? Hello. Over. This is BBQ 91 calling BBQ 62. Come in, BBQ 62. Over. Something appears to have gone wrong with the set. No, sir. He was afraid to answer. So he turned it off. He's obviously implicated. Kasim, I can't believe that. Then why was he so evasive? Why didn't he answer your questions directly? I don't know. Perhaps we better go up there and find out. We just got time to catch the riverboat. Come on. Kasim, look what we've got. Kasim. Kasim, where are you? Yeah, that's funny. I wonder where he could be. He's probably out looking for turtle legs. Said something about a breakfast. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. Hey, you the guy sounds hungry. Well, let's get him something to eat. Okay. You think quite a lot of Kasim, don't you, Skip? Kasim? Of course. Next to Tamba, he's the best friend I've got. <laughs> Visitors. First 
Commissioner Morris. Hi, Commissioner. Hello, Jim. You know Chandra Das, I think. Yes, we've met. Yes, sir. Several times. Always a pleasure. Make yourself comfortable. Thanks. Hello, Skipper. Hello, Commissioner. Sorry, I can't offer you any lunch, but Kasim isn't here. Uh, where is he? Oh, he's out hunting turtle eggs. Oh, here he comes. Hi, Kasim. Look at this leopard cub I found. Terrific, isn't he? Indeed, little sob. A splendid specimen. You got a lot of turtle eggs, didn't you? A basketball. No wonder it took you so long. Hello, Kasim. Greetings, Commissioner. I regret being late, Sob Jim. The turtle eggs were not easy to find. Had I known you were expecting guests for lunch, and I would have hurried. I didn't come for lunch, Cassim, but to resume our interrupted talk. Interrupted nothing. He deliberately cut us off. That'll be enough, Das. A thousand pardons, sir. What's this all about, Commissioner? A friend of Cassim's by the name of Niran Khan has been accused of stealing $15,000. Money contributed by the entire community for the purchase of a mobile medical unit to combat beriberi among the natives. Gee, that's pretty rotten. It's unspeakable. You can imagine how I feel as chairman of a fundraising committee. It was my responsibility to safeguard the contributions. How did it happen? Yesterday at noon, I turned over the whole $15,000 to Niran Khan, who was my clerk, for transmission by cable to London. I didn't see him again until nightfall, when he returned with a story of having been struck over the head and robbed. In Nadenga? And in broad daylight. He was obviously lying, but before I could do anything about it, he fled. You don't think Kasim had anything to do with this, do you? That remains to be seen. If you know anything about it, it's your duty to tell me. I assure you, Saab, I know nothing of the stolen money. And uh, of the whereabouts of Niran Khan? I regret that I can say nothing at this time. There. What did I tell you? But, Kasim, you've got to. Otherwise, the libel will think you had something to do with this. Out of the mouths of babes. You leave me no choice but to take you back to Nadango for further questioning. I understand, Saab. I'm ready to go with you. Just a minute. Do you mind if I ask him just one question? Of course, Jim. Go ahead. Are you involved in any way in the stealing of that money? No, Saab, Jim. I am not. That's good enough for me. I'm asking you to let him stay here. I'll guarantee his appearance any time you want him for questioning. All right. No. He must be put in jail until he discloses the whereabouts of Niran Khan. Are you questioning my actions now, Chandra Das? No, sir, but... Then let us get on back to Nadenga. I'll be in touch with you, Jim. Okay, Commissioner. Thank you, sir, Jim. Lunch will be ready in a few minutes. Great, I'm hungry. With all due respect, Saab, I must repeat, you should have put him in jail. Must too. He is our only lead to Niran Khan. Should he run away from Jungle Jim's camp, we may never again catch either of them. The river boat. Better hurry. One moment, sir. What is it now? The Basuto village lies this way. I have business there. We must part company here, if you don't mind. Not at all. Don't have it detain you.
Hasim. The commissioner and Chandra Das were at the camp today. They know you're hiding me? They suspect. Then there's no time to lose. You must guide me across the border at once. Jungle Jim has made himself responsible that I remain in camp until the commissioner has finished questioning me. But that might take days, weeks. Perhaps, perhaps not. But I owe too much to Jungle Jim to betray his trust. What about your obligation to me? Must I remind you of our blood vow of friendship, taken his boys and reaffirmed his men? Would you betray that, Kasim? If you will, my doom is sealed. Well, Kasim? For such a trip, we will need more food, water, a rifle. I will return with them sometime tomorrow at the first opportunity. Until then, you will be safe here. You are a true friend, Kasim. I shall never forget. You would do as much for me. this friend like his own father. And supposing he found out that this friend was a... was a criminal. Criminal? Yeah, you know, somebody that's broke the law. Well, supposing you were this fella, what would you do? Would you keep quiet, or would you tell on him? That's a question each man must decide for himself. But before making a decision, he must be sure he has all the facts. He has, Dad. And that isn't all. He must make sure they are facts, not suspicions. They're facts, all right. Chandler! <laughs> you better be ashamed of yourself. Stealing milk from a helpless little cub. What makes you think he tried to steal it? Had it in his hand, didn't he? Did you see him take it? Why, he always steals things. You know that. Even so, let me have it a minute. Tambo, what were you going to do with this bottle? I guess I made a mistake. I'm sorry, Tambo. Next time, don't jump to conclusions. Wait until you've actually seen the proof with your own eyes, especially in the case of that friend you were telling me about. Yes, sir, but in that case, I already have. Oh? Aren't you going to wait for your breakfast? No, thanks. I'm not hungry. But I'll never make it alone. I know nothing of jungle ways and travel. You can't mean this. But I have no choice. There's a rifle, food, water, compass, and map. May your journey be swift and safe. Is winning back the faith of this little sob mean more to you than our blood vow? Don't you think it's high time you told me what this was all about, Kasim? Before somebody else gets hurt besides Skipper? You're right, Sob Jim. I would have told you before, only I didn't want to get you involved. Well, what are friends for, anyway? Tell them, Naran. Everything. I didn't take that money, Jungle Jim. I swear it. It was stolen from me. By whom? I have no proof, Saab. But in my heart, I know it was Chandra Das. Chandra Das? If you only knew the kind of man he is. Cruel, crafty, cunning. A man to whom a rupee means everything. And honesty and fair dealing mean nothing at all. Maybe so. But you'll need more than that to make it stick. I have one thing more, Saab. No one but he and I knew that I was taking that money to the cable office. Well, why didn't you tell this to the commissioner instead of running away? Who would take my word against the word of an influential man like Chandra Das? 
I'll buy your story, Naran, until I find out otherwise. Meanwhile, you two stay here. I have to take a quick trip into Nadenga. No, sir, but he should be in shortly. I'll wait. Pretty dirty, those shoes. Yes, sir, and very difficult to clean. This clay sticks to them almost like glue. Looks like marsh clay, the kind you find up river. I wouldn't know, sir. These shoes belong to my master, Chandradas. Oh? On second thought, I don't think I'll wait. Whom shall I say call, sir? Never mind, I'll be back. Dad, what's going on? Kasim and Nir and Khan are going to jail, son. And they'll stay there until they tell us where they've hidden the $15,000. What? I'm afraid that's right, Skipper. Take them down to the riverboat landing. No, wait, please. There must be some mistake. Kasim didn't steal any money. He couldn't. The evidence is against it, son. You let me know as much yourself this morning. But I didn't know what I was talking about. Like with Tamba and the Cub. Honest, Commissioner, I was all mixed up. It's no use, my son. Kasim's in this as deep as Niran Khan. No, he's not. He can't be. Forgive me, Commissioner Saab. But unless we hurry and get these two thieves down to the landing, we're liable to miss the riverboat. I don't care what they say, Kasim, or what kind of evidence they've got against you. I know now that you didn't have anything to do with this. And I'll never doubt you again. Thank you, little Saab. All right. See you, Jim. Okay. Goodbye, Jungle Jim. Thanks for your help. Don't mention it. Help? Indeed. If it weren't for your father, young man, we might never have caught these criminals. You tracked down Kasim, your best friend? He shouldn't have broken the law, son. Facing reality is sometimes very difficult for the young. It's no bargain at any age. Perhaps so. Again, my deepest gratitude. Supposing you tell me what you did with that $15,000. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. I'm in no hurry. Oh, my poor head. I feel faint. Get me down. Get me down. I can't stand this much longer. The stolen money. Where did you hide it? I don't know. 
I don't know what you're talking about. It was near and Khan and Kasim. I can't stand it much longer. All you have to do is confess and show me where you hid the money and I'll cut you down. All right. All right, I confess. The money's hidden over there under a rock, under the brush. Get me down. Get me down. <laughs> understand what the clan of shoes had to do with it. It's only found in one spot in this whole district. And a man like Chandra Dawes ordinarily wouldn't go there. And once he was convinced that Neron Khan and I stood solidly accused of the theft, he felt safe to go to this place and retrieve the money. The whole was Saab Jim's plan. You could have let me in on it. Couldn't take a chance. It had to look real to fool Dodds. You fooled me. Well, I guess I'll never learn not to jump to conclusions. I don't know. Never is a long time. Okay, Tambo. <laughs> I know it's time to feed the cub. Relax, I'm coming. You've learned one thing, Sob Jim, and so have I. What's that? A lesson in loyalty. 